And that is an ended combat. Okay. And I will discuss the experience and all that stuff in a moment. What is it you two are doing? Actually, first, Seth, what are you doing? Are you scrambling uh, back up? Yeah, he's attempting to. And I, I doubt he can see that the battle is ended on the other side there. Oh, no. Yeah. Give me, uh... Athletics or acrobatics, either one. Oh my goodness, it's two ones. <laughs> oh my goodness. It, uh, it takes you some time, uh, but you do manage to scramble up. It just takes a lot longer than normal. Alright, Spira, Eleanor, what is it that you are doing? Uh, well, Spira is, um spraying uh valor down with her last uh super potion uh night slash put a pretty big fucking gouge in his armor <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so she is making sure that valor is okay and uh let's see i don't have any revives that's uh, very silly of me. Um, yeah, Eleanor. she'll go ahead and recall uh, Radiance, but she'll keep Valor out. Oops. Alright, uh, Eleanor, what about you? Uh, Eleanor would be, you know, uh, after spending <laughs> quite a bit of time trying to dissuade the Absol from engaging in battle, uh, I feel like she would be checking over the Absol to make sure it's not too heavily injured. No, uh, it appears to be just, uh, obviously the damage just sustained from, uh, the current battle. You do see, uh, old scars and, uh, permanently like permanent damage from old battles but as and as you're doing this the absol kind of slowly uh transitions back into being a regular uh absol uh seth what you doing i found the rock ah oh, good good uh, uh just put it right over there you see where it's where it's broken. Yeah. And as Seth puts the broken part of the relic stone in its place, a uh, almost like a blast of energy energy uh, shoots out of it, and anyone, uh, obviously, it fills the entire room. Uh. All of the the damage sustained over the battles uh, disappear, and everyone, every Pokemon that is currently out, not in Pokeballs, are fully restored. Oh God! That that means that. We just knocked Absol out, and Absol's now awake and pissed, and I'm standing next to him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I feel like uh, so Eleanor would have been like kind of like crouching next to Absol, like checking over his wounds and stuff, and then him just all of a sudden, like the wounds are gone and he's awake she'd be startled a tiny bit and uh just in kind of like a, a quick not necessarily panic but like a I, I i promise you 
I, I don't mean you harm. She's going to pull an orin berry out of her pocket and offer it. The, the ab method of making friends. Yes! <laughs> the the Absol kind of uh, shakes its head and it looks you directly in the eyes. In the eyes. Um, and echoing in both Spira and Eleanor's head. It's <laughs> no, you were you were you all share one head. You share one brain cell. <laughs> Let's go. We definitely share. Brain ooh, cells. ooh, I, that means I'm up a brain cell simply because Eleanor had zero to begin with. <laughs> it's yeah. my turn for the brain cell. <laughs> I've never had uh, one of these before. Uh, it kind of goes. The stone. What, what happened? Uh, did you... Did you fix it? I... Uh, I genuinely don't know because uh, we're over here. Uh, but one of our friends is over there and so is our Funkle. What is a Funkel? <laughs> Does not matter. Uh, I. Uh, that's the only. It only is the only thing that makes sense. Maybe you weren't lying to me. I'm gonna do like a little like hell yeah. <clears throat> How did you find this place? Um, so she's gonna talk about how we were helping some, uh, some Staravia yesterday, um, that were kicked out of their home in a shrine by a poltergeist, and we came across our Funkle and his assistant standing <laughs> over a well, and we were told by our professor, who knows a guy from the Ori region that I was telling you about, where the, the relic stones were used to help the, the Pokemon, the, like Jimmy that you saw. And um, we were told to go find him by the professor. And after dealing with the Staravia, we talked to him and he said that he thinks that there's relic stones under the well. And he was right. And now we're here. And now we're here. <laughs> and then we jumped in the well, kind of dumb. Uh, Seth went first. Uh, Seth can't swim, so I jumped over the the well to get him. Uh, and then we met some Dreadnaw, and um, and I chatted with them and told them we're not a threat and we're just trying to help our Pokemon. And they said okay. And then uh, we ended up here. And then uh, my asshole of a Pokemon, Lucille, thought it was a great idea to run away. And um, thank you, thank you for making it easier to to get him back. Uh, troublesome little fella. <laughs> and she kind of just trails off, which I think is amazing because Spears just listening to her ramble to an Absol. Um, yeah, she's, like, standing, uh, with Valor, who is, like, staring the Absol down, and, uh, uh, <laughs> and she's just, like, watching this and is more and more confused by the minute, um, and, uh, Eleanor likes Pokemon more than she likes people. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> um, and uh yeah she's just like watching and uh, uh as an aside would the the dead condition be removed from duck but please that'd be great you can do that yourself i can yeah if you click on him um at the oh actually no Hang on. oh if you if you right click on him at the top right is assign a status effect Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know I could take that off myself. Yeah. He's so tiny. 
It's so yeah, small. he also reverted back to being the regular ducklet sprite, so... <laughs> Oops, okay. And then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. <laughs> waddle. So, uh, as you know, I'm rambling and stuff. Is is the app still going to stop me at any point? Because I'll start going on and on about the Marie branch and how me and Charles <laughs> are good pals. And um, I protected him as a young Marie. No, it, it kind of um, stamps its... Uh its paw down and shakes its head Ugh, you humans either violent or rambling it seems uh, she's gonna give both. <laughs> she's gonna give the absol like a toothy grin and, and just kind of chuckle well now then um uh, so you are here for the power that lies within the relic stone. Is yeah. that what I am understanding? I assume. Um, we were assume. told. I don't know exactly how it's done. Um, unfortunately, no one really seems to know outside of the the stones were used. And he kind of, um, kind of, like, hops over you. <clears throat> and he starts making his way to the Relic Stone. Uh, or... Eleanor's also gonna just, like, chase after him because, you know, I'm sure it's not gonna look great because... They, uh, Seth and uh, Funkle Michael didn't hear the conversation, and now <laughs> an Absol is just running at them. Well, uh, while that conversation with the Absol was going on, uh, after the big wave of energy, Seth probably would have pulled uh, Rasula out to see if, like, hey, hey, get better. <laughs> poking at the big shadow mushroom. Ah, uh, yes, the big shadow mushroom. Uh, doo -doo -doo. there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, <Stop> uh, <laughs> the, uh, you know, kind of as you're kind of poking and prodding and, and hoping it, uh, stops, you know, standing there like a husk, uh, you hear the, you know, the Absol leap up behind you, or land behind you, and he kind of starts to growl, and then quickly, um, kind of, like, sits down, and he kind of just, like, looks at you two before, you know, Eleanor shows up behind him, and he goes... Uh, turning to Eleanor goes, I assume these two are with you, yes? Yes. Hmm. Well. Uh, uh, what is that? What is that? What? So these are... What did you call them? Shadow Pokemon? Yes. Hmm. How strange. Yes, there... There's... There's just nothing. I sense nothing in that one. Ugh. How disgusting. And he kind of, you know, walks over slightly to the Relic Stone. And he sits and kind of, like, lays down in front of it. And he goes... I do not know how the Relic Stone uh, can can help, but if but they are filled with with powerful inner energies brought from uh, drawn from the world and uh, from our legends. Hmm. 
I have been the guardian of this place for, well, far longer than somewhat something of my kind should. Do not know what keeps me going. I assume it is the stone itself. But hmm, there is but one issue. If the stone is to help you, I feel that the, the spirit that dwells within it is what would help. The issue? I have not seen the spirit in many ages. You heard. So, uh, we all just gonna sit here in silence and watch a weird angel dog thing? Walk around. Seth, be polite. What What do you mean, be polite? We're, you're just staring at it. No, I'm talking to it. That that's that's. I don't understand any of that. You you can keep that. Yeah, you literally a... you literally earlier said do that weird talking thing to the so we off. wouldn't get our fingers bit off by giant turtles like i don't understand it doesn't mean it's not helpful okay but you can either be respectful or i'll let the absol bite you <laughs> let I mean, us not forget you you're running a thin line between me and you Uh, and, uh... Yeah, this probably, probably would have hurt less if you just called me an idiot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor's gonna turn <laughs> and, uh, and continue the conversation with the Absol. Um, asking, you know, there's a spirit? Yes, these... <clears throat> These stones have been blessed by Celebi itself. Uh, um, sh that that Pokemon you pulled out before, Torchic, show it to me once more. So, Eleanor will uh, release Jimmy. Jimmy. Giant Jimmy. Big boy. Jimmy. Jimmy's bigger than Shenotic. Yep. And, um, Absol will look it over and put a paw on its forehead. And after a couple of moments, um, the, the stone the, the center of it, where the little uh, notching on it is, will begin to glow. And echoing in all of your heads, you begin to hear a song. And Jimmy begins to glow and orbs begin to float around it just give me just one second oops Doo -doo. And as this happens, as all of these effects begin to happen, the relic stone glows brightly before uh, returning back to its normal state. And the shadowy aura around Jimmy breaks. Uh, 
as Eleanor can see. She's gonna, you know, kind of stare at Jimmy. Uh, yeah, that's right. Give me back my big boy. <laughs> Did somebody say big boy? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see him real well. Yeah. <laughs> Starting to get a little crusty around the edges. <laughs> yeah. Um, Eleanor just kind of gonna stare at uh, at Jimmy, kind of in disbelief. And then kind of, it's just going to kneel down in front of him and kind of like reach out to him and see what he does. Uh, he immediately nuzzles your, your hand without hesitation. And, uh, and Eleanor is just going to kind of like cry out and like, like scoop up Jimmy, like rocking back and forth. Be like, just, I, I don't think she would say anything. She'd just be making noise. Too, too overwhelmed to, to say anything coherent. Of course, and the, the Absol, after a moment, kind of lets out a, a drawn out sigh. Uh, I believe that is all the power that is in this stone for now. Without... Before this stone used to hum and glow all the time. But now, it barely flickers on the best of days. Ugh. I am sorry, but I believe that is all I can do for you now. Or for now. This is more than plenty, although we will figure out a way to help the others. Of course, there are... there's many of these stones. I do not know how they have been treated, um, and I don't she's know... She's immediately going to interrupt him and do the fist on hand um about that mm -hmm. and she's gonna kind of you know point to point to funkle michael and they absol wants to know about the other relic stones in the region and he kind of like looks around for a moment uh ah uh. And kind of looks at the Absol. Ah, right. Well, uh, many of the relic stones have, at least in this region, have been shattered. Uh, there are some that potentially still remain but yes most have have shattered fallen I, I don't know truly how to how to word these things and the absol kind of lets out a roar um and you know stamps its paws um and almost, it almost kind of sounds crestfallen in a way. You were telling me that these stones, our legends, they're falling? Um, Eleanor is going to translate for uh, Absol. Uh, I, I guess so. Um, I... I do not know, I don't know too much about the other Guardian Pokemon. Uh, the theories are at this point that, well, whoever is shattering, or, uh, shattering these stones are also doing the 
the the the shadow Pokemon stuff, the the corruption. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, there's a high chance. Well, they might come for for here and for you. I I'm truly sorry. You must keep this place as protected as possible. Uh, all the information that I have. Uh, Spira, Seth, what are you two doing? Um, just observing. Observing? Yeah. Seth? Trying to stay away from a dog that Eleanor told me that was gonna bite him. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. He's on the ground drawing circles in the dirt with his finger. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> it's the um model to me. Then the the Absol will just kind of shake its head once more and say that him and uh, Nine Tails will defend this place to their last breath. They have been through many battles, and one more will not will not end them. Um, Eleanor is uh just going to you know out of concern. Not to say that they aren't strong Pokemon, but to not overestimate who they're coming in contact with, or underestimate. Um, hmm. They aren't people to to overlook. <clears throat> I see. Well. <laughs> Uh, if that is the case, then we will, we will do our, our best. And if this, if this stone falls, then it is just how the world must be. No. It's not how the world must be. It's, it's not okay for for this to be happening to Pokemon. No, of course not, but what more can you do? The this this region the the legendary the, the, the legends, the legendary Pokemon, the mythical Pokemon they haven't been here in, in many ages. We have been without our guardians for for a long time. Um, Eleanor is a uh, is gonna pick up the Absol's paw and kind of bring it close to her, like towards her chest, and say, "I promise you, with all of my heart, that I'm gonna put a stop to this." Hmm. <laughs> We, so be it. Do your best and I will do mine. Allow me to... <laughs> this is something I should... I was told never, never to speak of. But, I suppose I must. That song, did you hear it? When these stones were first carved, first made, each stone is has a specific sound, a specific song. And at one point, these these stones they were 
worshipped by both people in Pokemon. If the stones themselves do not sing, there used to be instruments created by humans long, long ago. They didn't really look like you, but they created the same sound. They were tuned to the very stones. I think they will help you. Just in case. Just in case the stones fall. Eleanor's gonna look up and uh, thank the Absol for entrusting her with that information. Of course. I don't know what you can do with it. So. <laughs> been many ages, I doubt anyone... Well, doubt that there's anyone that is still around that knows of those instruments, but maybe the instruments are not lost. And the, um, the doctor kind of stops for a second, and he's just kind of thinking, he's obviously kind of thinking and he kind of looks at the stone. And he kind of just like looks at the abs. Obviously he he has, you know, no idea what is going on. But he kind of um just kind of thinks. I you know what? Actually I cut all of that because yeah, I, I completely forgot this is going on between only you two, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's always one of those things. It's kind of hard to do one-on-one -on -one stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You said that the stones were blessed by Celebi. Yes, that is correct. And yet you haven't seen Celebi in a while? No, not Celebi, not its... It's spirit. I have not seen seen her in in a time for me is not not normal. I cannot truly tell you how long it's been. It could have been days or it could have been years, but it feels like it's been a long time. I, I know you haven't seen Celebi in a while, but is there, do you know where Celebi, if in, like, <laughs> start stuttering, um, I know you haven't seen Celebi in a while, but do you know where we could possibly find her? Hmm. Hmm. Their forest. There there's a forest somewhere. I'm not I do not know the forested island. I do not know what you would call it. Humans always name things so differently. But a sacred, sacred grove is all that I know. She would then travel, use the, the stone, these very stones to travel between locations with ease. But other than that, I believe she remained in that grove. time to go look for Celebi. Very well. Good luck. And, uh... 
and Eleanor's going to, you know, hand over the Orenberry that she tried to give him forever ago. <laughs> it will, uh, Absol will take it and, and eat it, um, quickly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so kind of, you know, ending this, this one-on-one -on -one conversation, uh, Eleanor's gonna swing around to face, uh, Spear and Seth and just go, we need to find Celebi. I'm, I'm sorry, what? We need to find Celebi. Why? Because Celebi has to do with these stones. They're blessed by her spirit. And the Absol has mentioned that he hasn't seen Celebi in a while. And if Celebi has something to do with the stones, I wonder if Celebi has something to do with what they're doing to these shadow Pokemon. Perhaps. Or it may be so that uh, that the guardian of the forest simply is unaware of their destruction, though that seems unlikely. Or perhaps whoever is uh, responsible for this is um, already uh, well done their unsavory work uh, with Celebi as well, though it. Uh, the very idea of that is, um, ugh. I hope that's not the case, but, um, I mean, trying to find Celebi is one thing, but, uh, you usually don't, uh, see the guardian of the forest unless they want to be found. Well, we're going to make Celebi want to be found. Don't know so how. Say, so Don't say know where, true. but we will. Well. That, uh, that's an interesting elucidation. And, uh, if that's uh, all we're going to get from the stone it looks fairly dim uh uh doctor uh is there anything else that uh for any other reason you would like to stay here or shall we get going uh i i would i I would love nothing more than to stay here and, and study this, but I feel that it would be best if I don't. Uh, I suppose we should return. Uh, so so many things have have happened that I think we all just need to return to the Pokemon Center and and think especially these relic stones uh, Celebi and Guardian Pokemon there's just so much so many missing pieces missing connections and I fear the longer we stay here well there is after all a rope that does lead down here. It would be best if we get out of here and uh, make sure nobody finds this place. Um, Eleanor, in like the most serious tone, is gonna walk up to you know Funkle and go, Doctor Michael. This needs to be kept between the people who are here. Don't trust me. I understand. Uh, I am not 
I am not like some of my colleagues that do this to have their names in academic papers and in books. I do this for fun. And as such, I know that there are things that must be kept a secret. Not even a word for your assistant. I... yes, of course. He will not know of any of this. As he walks in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dr. Professor Michael, I was looking for you. <laughs> oh god, there's an Epsil. Kill it! Murder! You just hear a sniper shot from across the room. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Apps uh, like, able to create mirages, right? Is that something Absol is able, like, capable of doing? I, I feel like he's it's done that in like a movie. But normally they're just known as like an omen, like they're harbingers or said yeah. to be, right? They show up before disasters. I don't, but I'm not sure if they are so, if they can actually create. Uh, they have, at least according to this, they have premonition, stealth, and dark vision, and then tracker. Yeah. So I don't think they can do that. At least not this one. At least according to the games. Yeah. That's fine. Of course. Well, I for one am uh, ready to uh, escape this... Um underground and uh get some fresh air and uh get uh my poke my uh, pokemon healed i believe that would be for the best ah let's hope my assistant has returned with the rope I doubt he traveled very far. Come on, let's get out of here. Um, Eleanor would recall Charles and Jimmy. And as we are leaving, uh, turn to the Absol and go, It was nice meeting you, Sully. Kind of like calling out to him. Ah. Uh. It was nice to meet you, too. Be careful. She's just gonna nod and kind of run off. Okay, and with that, we can return back to the Pokemon Center. Of course, as you were coming back, you know, you end up meeting um, meeting the assistant who was just kind of uh, basically being terrified of the Dreadnought. <laughs> and, and yeah, you return safely and I believe that is where we can end this for today. Because, uh, first of all, that battle between the uh, the Guardians is 200 experience and three trainer levels. So have fun. <laughs> so milestones go up to nine? Ten. It should be ten. Ten. You're right. I can, yeah. I can do math. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Uh, and with this, we can say goodbye to the stream. So goodbye, stream. I will stream. catch you around. See you Bye, around. Stream. Bye. Bye.